Next we have John Mayer with uh, uh, Cali, and um, he's going to be introducing the new A2J.org. The last. What pressure. Hey, everybody. My name is John Mayer, and I'm the executive director of Cali, the Center for Computer Assisted Legal Instruction. <clears throat> so Cali does computer assisted instruction. So that's why I'm standing up here talking to a bunch of legal aid people, right? CC licensed ebooks, formative assessment. We do classroom tools, you know, and along with uh, Chicago Kent College of Law and their Institute of Design, we developed A to J Author way back in 2004. We're in our 15th year on that now. So we recently launched a brand new website that's called, that's at A to J.org. A to J stands for Access to Justice. It's a website where anyone who wants to publish an A to J author guided interview for non-commercial purposes for self-representing litigants. <clears throat> so who would be the users of this thing? Well, legal aid organizations, courts, nonprofits, individual lawyers doing pro bono projects, government agencies, foundations, advocacy groups, and of course, I'm from Cali, law schools. <clears throat> so A to J org has its own simple document management system and it's written right into A to J author. We did this to make it a little bit easier to train the Mac users. So 50% of the law students out there who we want to train to use this are Mac users. Um, and most of the document assembly systems uh, extant are Windows or Microsoft Word based. <clears throat> so now you can author your interview and design your document and publish the whole thing all in one environment. So A to J org also uses a new system that allows us to report detailed analytics back to the authors. It's an open source tool called Matomo. It's a replacement for Google Analytics. And we did that because we don't want Google reading your data. Matomo runs on our own servers. Cali is a consortium of law schools, as I mentioned. And the future of law practice is automation of the simple tasks to, to leave lawyers with more time for mindful and empathetic practice. All law students should learn about legal process automation. And A to J Author is how we are doing this. A to J Author has been taught in 20 different law school courses, and we learned a lot from this. Law students are very eager to learn how legal tech affects their professional lives into the future. And we recently created a set of packaged exercises that teach law students or anyone who needs to come up to speed quickly how to automate a simple form. We just had a 75 minute from soup to nuts, quick and easy version of that uh, a few, uh, in the last session. <clears throat> the exercises are self-paced and they can take folks from novice to excited in a couple of hours. I would love to see hundreds of law courses using A to J author and thousands of students clued into the power of process automation. Automating legal processes is a great way to learn about the law. You have to understand the law before you can automate it. And create new, and this is a way to create new converts to the access to justice cause. This is also how our project is sustainable. We don't expect funding from LSC forever. Well, actually we hope we get it forever. Um, but some of the costs these days, actually a lot of the costs these days, are covered by law school dues paid to Cali. I regularly talk to law schools about this very thing, and they are super engaged. A to J Author's dual identity as a production expert system and a teaching platform complement each other to grow both the quantity of pro se assistance and the number of lawyers clued into the new way of thinking. It's a win-win. Anybody see that dessert topping there? <clears throat> This goes way beyond document automation. Documents are temporary storage mechanisms for data that are in the brains of people that must eventually end up, not on a piece of paper, but in a case management system. Documents are the language that the courts and the government use to talk to itself and to us. Courts are also talking about this in a big way. A to J author got a super shout out from a keynote speaker at the eCourts conference in Vegas last month in, uh, in December. He was law professor Benjamin Barton at University of Tennessee Law, and he had used A to J author in his course. I was sitting there and didn't know this. Afterward, our booth was mobbed by tech staff from over a, different, a dozen different uh, states wanting to learn about our product. 
With A to J org as a development platform, we can start to explore student group projects. We can start looking at projects that cross borders, both the school borders and national borders. We can look at unbundling projects that break down long, complex legal processes into pieces, and which some of those pieces are automated and some of those are not. Decision trees or flowcharts, they're all over the place. And even after 15 years of doing this, there are still many, many simple forms that need to be automated. A to J org can help us with getting back to basics. We're also working on packaging the system code for anyone who wants to host their own server to deliver A to J guided interviews, including countries outside the US. We would like to franchise or federate this idea all over the globe. There are lots of ideas on our future roadmap. New avatars, mind mapping, zombies. Oh wait, sorry, <laughs> I crossed that out. New avatars, as you can see right there, mind mapping. We're working on the Microsoft project and we recently upgraded our viewer to WCAG 2.1 AA accessibility. Basically, Americans with Disabilities software. So A to J, I'm, I'm waiting for the next one to decide because I gotta get the timing in this perfect. So A to J author is going open source. It's not quite final yet. We're this close. I'm working on, out on the details and have been for a couple of years with our partners at Chicago Kent College of Law who have been very supportive over the years. We think that's a game changer. I hope it is. A to J author is legal tech that has been used millions of times. It works, it solves real problems today, it's free, and we have a sustainable plan for the future. We can move the needle on access to justice. Thank you.